Okay, I'm gonna walk you through Freed Code Camp's um, new responsive web design's second core, uh, second project. Learn basic CSS by building a cafe menu. Um, steps one through ten. So here we have a preview of what our final project is gonna look like. So looks a little bit cooler. That's what the CSS is from the first project. So we actually start with a blank uh, index.html um, file. And so we have to add everything um, that, even the stuff that came um, with our, our last file um, in, the, in the last project. So remember we have to define the document type and this is an HTML document. So we're gonna do that doc type HTML. And then we have to add some HTML tags um, for everything to go inside. So next we're gonna add a, um, a head section or a head element actually. And this is just displays data that's useful but it's not gonna be displayed. So on the actual page. So one of the, the first ones that we're gonna use is a title um, and it's gonna say cafe menu. And so remember this, um, uh, the title will show right here. Um, and so this, this title of this page is called learn basic CSS by building a cafe menu, step two. Um, and then a pipe free code camp .org. Um, and so um, when when our when this index.html is actually displayed it would be um, right here um, and it would say cafe menu okay so the next thing we need to put in the um, the head is uh, we need uh, a meta meta so that means it's just about the page um, and it's we're gonna define the char set um, and so this is just gonna, so UTF-8 is um, a way that, um, it, it just so that knows our, um, it's so that we can display every character properly. So we're using the uh, UTF-8 um, character set. It's the most common one, um, I think at least. Um, so now we're gonna have the body element where all of our, um, everything we're actually gonna display on the page is gonna go. And then so we're gonna add a header one that's going to display info about this page. So it's going to say camper cafe. Oops. Let's spell that correctly. Camper. Okay, there we go. Um, next, we're going to add a paragraph. So this is all pretty basic stuff that um, we learned in the first project. All right. So now we're going to put everything inside of a header element. Um, again, this is not necessary. It's not going to change how it looks, um, but it's just good to set up your document structure in a way that um, is logical. And so inside of the body, we're going to have a header. Um, and so this is just, I mean, it, it's self-explanatory kind of. Um, and so now we're going to have the main. So this is the main content. So add that main tag. And so now inside of our main tag, we're gonna add a section. And so we're just gonna add those section tags. And then um, we're gonna add H2. So this is very similar to last time when we had all the different um, elements of that cat photo app. So we're just gonna say coffee. All right. 